All right, guys, how's it going? Mike coming at you from ABC Store in Miami, Florida, and today we have the 50 millimeter face-off. Sigma Art 50 F1.4 versus the Sony Zeiss F1.4. Let's see how they do. So the reason we're doing this video is that with the emergence of the Sigma art line finally making its way to mirrorless platforms on Sony e-mount, we want to try and gauge the interest of our viewers to see which would they rather prefer depending what they like to use. Let's go ahead and start off with the Sigma. Like I said, it's a 50 millimeter f1.4 lens, so it's got a beautiful aperture, 11 bladed diaphragm for beautiful circular bokeh, but on top of that, it comes in weighing at 1.79 pounds, has a 77 millimeter filter thread for all of your polarizer UV and ND needs. And on top of that, it is also uh, weather sealed on the mount for both dust and moisture. On top of that, the Sigma also has full-time manual focus override, as well as a hypersonic motor for fast and quiet focusing, as well as a coated front lens to reduce glare and ghosting. And to cap it all off, the Sigma Art 50mm F1.4 Art comes in at only $949, a very great price for a pro lens of all levels. Moving on to the Sony, the first thing I realized about it was that it is smaller, it weighs less coming in at 1.71 pounds, and it does have a smaller filter size, although just as common at 72 millimeters. With that being said, the Sony also has an aperture wheel where you can turn and adjust the aperture as you're using it so you can gradually increase or decrease the aperture while you're filming without having to manually adjust it electronically through the camera. Now the Sony does have its own version of a hypersonic motor but instead of it being hypersonic it's called supersonic wave motor where it's essentially a fast quiet focus. Just what we need for all of our video shooters and for anyone looking to truly capture the moment or get something very quickly in focus. On top of that the Sony also has its own Zeiss T anti-reflective coating which helps reduce both flare and ghosting when you're taking pictures as well as video just like the Sigma Art. The Sony 50 millimeter f1.4 is fully weather sealed and dust proof and now lastly we have the price like i said the sigma art comes in at 949 dollars retail the 50 millimeter by sony comes in at 1498 dollars we wanted to test the focus of both of these lenses one against each other so we put both of them on an a7r3 and shot a couple of model cars that we had to see exactly how fast do they focus and how sharp are the images when shot wide open that would give us a good idea roughly as to the quality of the image you can expect yourself to see when you buy this lens yourself. As you can see in this video, we shot these on an a7R 3 with both the 50mm 1.4 by Sony and the 50mm 1.4 Art by Sigma. Well, there you have it, guys. That's our 50 millimeter face off for today. We got to compare the Sigma Art and the Sony 50. Let's see what you guys thought in the comments section below. Feel free to let us know what you want us to review or compare next time. And on top of that, we look forward to seeing you next time here at ABC Store.